Ethan says I was creeping on his mother and trying to befriend her. Now, obviously, Dan calling him out is not a good look. So, this video, I'm going to talk about Ethan Klein's behavior as he's become harmful to others. If you didn't see, there was the Adam McIntyre situation that happened. And then there was the button situation the other day. And there's other clips that have been out there in the past. Uh, one that comes to mind right now would be the Cutie Cinderella deepfake moment. Uh, when she was crying on camera, Ethan was laughing at that. There's been a handful of moments that have led me to not watch H3 podcast anymore. And these two clips that have recently surfaced were just reminders on why I should not go back and watch it. I'm going to get into that. So, if you didn't see it already, there was this clip today that went around uh, where Ethan was calling Adam McIntyre a rat. Why was he calling Adam a rat? Well... Let's see why, and I'll tell you why that was not deserved in a second. Special mention to this little rat, Adam McIntyre. Fuck this dude, by the way. Let me play this, and I'll tell you guys why. I'm just going to say something right off the bat. To call someone a rat and then say, fuck this dude, in a moment's notice, uh, just off of clips and an assumption is not a good look and i want to get into why this isn't great beside me just looking at this and going this isn't great i think there's a deeper meaning here behind all this and i'll get into that in a second again ethan only misses trisha because trisha is incredibly popular right now and her podcast is doing great you dumb silly fuck first of all my pop listen i'm not here to brag my podcast is still way more popular okay just numbers wise let's just fucking say it okay dummy you know, Adam wasn't right. I don't think this would bother Ethan in the way that it bothered him. Uh, Adam saying this isn't a bad thing necessarily. He's just saying this because of, you know, what Ethan said and how he's responding. But the way that that like triggered something in Ethan tells me that he feels, I don't, I don't know if it's insecure or feels like, you know, Adam might be right here. There's something... There's definitely something there. I'm going to continue this. This is very interesting. You're the one that called Trisha a, sa a spawn from Satan. If you want to talk about who's dick riding Trisha because she's popular, look in the fucking mirror, you little douchebag. And by the way, this kid, I disengaged from this kid when he was creeping on my mom. <laughs> That's right. Have I said this? <laughs> I don't think so. This fucking little weirdo was chatting up my mom privately, one-on-one, -on -one, trying to become her best friend. They were chatting calling texting and shit and then when he come into la he was gonna meet up with her one-on-one -on -one, and i didn't know anything about this and then when my mom told me i was like that's fucking weird now keep in mind ethan and adam have already had an interaction on the h3 podcast around the time of the colleen situation and speaking of the colleen situation if you remember that that was the situation where colleen was getting involved with minors and Going off of that, um, Adam was one of those minors that was involved. So if Adam was someone that was a victim of the Colleen Ballinger situation, should that tell you right there and then that he himself being a victim knows how these situations go? So he wouldn't just like turn around and do the reverse of this. Be talking to Ethan's mom in private. like. He's already been a victim. He would understand that's weird behavior. So does that even make any sense right offhand? As shit. So this little freak was trying to weasel his way into a friendship with my mom. I found that very bizarre. Now, we're going to get into why Ethan is saying this. Uh, there are text threads here that we're going to get into, and I'll show you. But I want to continue this clip because this is, this is very crucial to what I'm going to be talking about. Very off-putting. And that's why I was like, I'm so out on Adam. Like, what's wrong with you, dude? And I can totally see I'm why. I'm so glad she told us about it, oh by the way. God. Ahead of time, because like. Because my mom's she's a sweet, way naive, naive lady. She's way too who naive. Who knows what my mom tells him? She's so sweet and she naive. She will like post on Instagram, hey, I'm right here at this Ralph's at this address. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she's very naive. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, it's just so ridiculous. Um, I just found that super gross. And uh, also, I, this accusation really pissed me off. Like, it's just such bullshit. Trisha is incredibly popular right now, and her podcast is doing great. No, Why Ethan, the fuck do I care? Ethan is allowed to miss what was a really great, entertaining show. 
Uh, so I think there's a lot of complicated emotions when it comes to that. This is kind of my train of thought around the situation. The way that Ethan just came swinging with fuck this guy, calling him a little rat right out the gates is, uh, it's pretty weird. Like I, when I think about this, Ethan is a grown man with kids slash when I think about this, Ethan is a grown man with kids, a wife, like a grown adult that is just coming out here swinging. If I'm going to be a kid of Ethan's and I go on the internet and this is what I see my dad doing, I'm going to be like, oh, this is weird. Like, I could not imagine my own dad being like this online. Does that not seem weird? Or are H3 fans just like, oh, yeah, this is very normal. Like, this is great behavior. I, I'm pretty sure most level-headed people that watch H3 have realized the same thing I've realized. Like, that is weird behavior from your own father. Now, I know his kids aren't exactly watching these clips, but I'm saying these clips don't expire. Someday they're going to see them and be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So right here, Adam responded. Adam said, Ethan says I was creeping on his mother and trying to befriend her, which is so inaccurate. Donna started mentioning me on the family's podcast and privately reached out to me first, offered to meet me for dinner, not the other way about, and gave me her phone number, in which I never called or texted her. I don't know if Ethan doesn't know the full context, but mentioning this is so weird, and I would have never posted this if Ethan didn't bring it up, but please don't lie. Also, after this is when Donna sent my mom, Teddy Fresh, so it was never me going out of my way to ask for anything. And boom, right here in the DMs, you see it. Right from Ethan Klein's mom is the first message, and just like a normal person, Adam responded, right? I'll be in LA in November for any recommendations, blah, blah. Very normal conversation to be had right here. There's no like weirdness, which is why Adam openly posted these texts, sent him recommendations. I think this is still a very normal conversation. Nothing weird about this. Right here, they figured out like a time uh, to hang out with Ethan and Ela and Donna and hang out with everybody, right? This is just them scheduling and everybody hang. Dan on H3 actually had a rebuttal here. And this is why I've always liked Dan from H3. I've never really had an issue with Dan from H3. Same goes to Sam and Olivia. I've never had an issue with either of them. Um, and come to think, I've never really had much of an issue with uh, AB as well. I think... Honestly, kind of exonerating him. In what way? Your mom is the initiator of all of it. Huh? Yeah, take a look. She invited him to dinner. She was the one who reached out to him. It, it was your mom. Mom. Towards him, not the other way around. Um, what did Adam post? Now, obviously, Dan calling him out is not a good look. So, Ethan is going to have to backtrack himself. Well, what does Ethan say to backtrack himself? Let's see. And right after this, I'm going to get into why what Ethan originally said is harmful. I've already said it. Uh, I've already explained kind of my thoughts, but I'm going to show you why this is harmful to others and why Ethan should, quite frankly, stop. He didn't seem to learn anything after the button situation. Um, you know, there's been a plethora of comments talking about why that was, like, harmful and um, why that was, you know, poor employee treatment on his end. But I'll get into that in a second. Let's watch and see what Ethan had to say real quickly to apologize. I have to get my hand on, on, uh, was that your whole conversation with him? You guys didn't talk about anything else? No, that was it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I apologize to Adam. So my mom misled me. I misled you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was calling him a creep because I thought he reached out to you to try to I feel like that wasn't much of a joke, though. I kind of think he just wasn't wanting to take ownership of it. And that's been one of my biggest problems with Ethan, is that most of the time he's always looking for a reason to, like, deflect his own behavior. And it, as a grown adult, that's not a good look. But let's see what else is said here. Take you for dinner and be your best friend. No, I mean, he, no. I, he was out here for your, your thing. He was? What thing? I never met him. You guys had you had some sort of um... Teddy Fresh pop up. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get. So they had a Teddy Fresh pop up that Ethan was failing to remember there as well. Why is this behavior of Ethan's harmful? So Becky, if you remember, one of the victims from the Colleen Ballinger situation, 
noted here. I'll add that I wanted to scroll through some of the comments, and this was literally the first one I saw. Wow. Who would have guessed this would happen? Totally unexpected consequences of doing this in front of thousands of people. Surely it won't cause any problems. So ridiculous. And this comment says, and all the shit coming out about Adam kind of got to question the shit he said and did to Colleen. And this is what is going to happen as soon as Ethan says stuff like this. Fans are immediately going to storm Becky. They're going to storm Adam and totally play a reversal on them and just not even go back to it. And these poor victims from Colleen are going to get harassed all over again online. So Ethan's behavior as a direct result of that is getting minors harassed online. He has a big platform. He also has a power dynamic. And when you are in that situation, you have fans of all ages watching you. And so you got to really be careful with what you're saying online because how quick of you can comment. I mean, this is just one comment here. And I can certainly say this is not the only comment that Becky got. This is just an example of a comment that she's posting here. Right here. I don't care what the reasons are. I think that it was very shitty to do. When you have a huge platform, you should be aware of the power of, that your words have and what they'll bring to other people. This isn't really my business, so I'm not going to say anything I want to, but wow. Odd that I wanted to scroll through some, some of the comments, and this was literally the first one I saw. Wow, who would have guessed this would happen? Totally unexpected consequences doing this in front of thousands of people. Surely it won't cause any problems. I mean, yeah, it's pretty harmful. So I think Ethan just doesn't seem to be very aware of what he's saying online oftentimes and isn't good at really coming back to truly apologize about these things this was the button moment the other day we got 10 minutes do we watch this like, i have this new final word like, i have a discord of people fuck me like, people that join my course they can use uh they, they get access <laughs> well, to it we cover oh, most of it you're doing it what like, are you it's doing so awkward and terrible i'm sorry i'm not it's just like it, it, this is what i'm talking about when it's always like we need to get home for our kids like, this was so bad and then even Ela doubling down this we need to get home for our kids dude they they could have stayed and done this it was just the fact that even if we didn't hear this he should not be doing this to his employees someone that spends time producing the show for him he should not be treating him like this. This is just unfair treatment of their own employees. It's just, it's just gross. And I think another angle to look at this is when you see someone like Ethan treating employees like this, they're 100% are people that are unknowingly watching this and later going to justify this behavior to themselves. As a result, will end up maybe treating their employees like this or treating others in their life like this and justifying it because their favorite influencer online does this. And it's not okay. I don't know when he's ever gonna stop. And this is why I had this, this is like literally, behavior like this is why I had to stop. And I kind of already scratched on it, but even seeing when Ethan had laughed at the cutie Cinderella moment, wasn't a good look. They should have definitely like cut that off the air or done something. Like, even if they did cut that off the air, still, him laughing in that moment was really gross. And that that quickly turned me away. He also made some comments uh, during the Leftovers moment with him and Hassan that turned me away from watching. He just seems to find every reason to make people not want to watch H3 anymore. It sucks. I enjoyed H3. You know, there was funny moments. I wish I could still watch it, but it's just like... Ugh, I even had some friends warn me a while back and be like, dude, you gotta stop watching that. Like, Ethan's pretty toxic. I was like, no, he's not. No, he's not. There's nothing wrong with him. I'm seeing it all. I'm seeing it all. I don't mean to be a content cop guy. I feel like a, I'm the police. I make all the good decisions guy. Like, no, I, I don't. I for sure make mistakes of my own. For sure. Not a perfect person. I've said this before in live streams. Um, I don't ever want to be cut out to be one of those people that's like, I'm always right. Look at everybody else. They're wrong. The, no, 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 no. I, I make mistakes, okay? But this is something I wanted to address because I felt it was important. So if you enjoy internet drama, that is your thing. Hit that subscribe button and there'll be more videos to come soon. Got two videos out this week so far. We're on a roll. Talk to you soon. Peace.